Hey, what's up guys? Alright, so today for this video, I got... Before I get started with this video, I want to apologize for last week. I was supposed to have my press video up. All that footage got scrapped. I have a shotgun mic mounted over my camera, and it has this little wire that comes down and connects right into the side of the camera. That wire wasn't fully inserted into the camera. I didn't realize it was slightly pulled out. So all of my audio for my video was like real screechy and loud and I couldn't get any of it. Um, so I gotta re-record that. It wasn't a lot, it was a few minutes, um, but I just gotta re-record it. So I had to scrap that footage. So in the meantime, I got, potentially I got another Campbell book coming that I really wanna have in that video. So the Campbell video is also gonna wait. I'll just go through the books that I got this week. I got some really good books. So let's get started. First thing I got, this is a book that I've been wanting for a little while. The uh, first Gotham City Sirens, or Gotham City Sirens number one, this book is hot right now. Uh, with them talking about making a movie. I didn't overpay for this book either. The uh, I got this book, I paid, paid like 40 bucks for this book. I see some places where this thing's selling for like 95 bucks. Um, the reason I got it for 40 is he advertised it as near mint minus that there was a dent in the back of the book. And it looked like a thumb depression in the pictures. That's not a big deal for me. I gotta press. I can press it out, right? <clears throat> so I get the book in the mail. It's in the mailbox, wedged between two pieces of cardboard. And I think from the heat and the pressure from other mail sitting on top and below the book, it pushed out the thumb depression. So by the time I even got it, unless I got a different book, this thing is in spotless condition. So I was really happy to get that. Um, and also forgive me if I show a couple of these books. I got books for this week and last week and I put it in a new um, short box and I might have got some old books mixed in with them so just forgive me if that happens but this is uh, the Oz Effect Part 3 Action Comics 989 little lenticular book uh, Generations Strongest Hulk number one this might be one of the books that I can't remember if I got <clears throat> Harley and Ivy meet Betty and Veronica. Cool Adam Hughes cover. Pretty sure I showed this one too. This might be the only two. I'm very happy to get this one. Ultimate X number one. Um, this is the first appearance of uh, Jimmy Hudson, Wolverine's son. There's three different covers. There's a standard cover where he has bone claws, which he has in this one. There's a 1 in 8 incentive where he has the metallic claws, and then there's the 1 in 25 with the foil background. So this is the most rare of the books. They're not super rare. Uh, you can get the standard claw. There's probably worth about 12 to 12 bucks or so with the bone claws. There's about 59,000 of those books printed. So not the rarest of books. Um, you know, there's you divide that number by eight and you get the metal claws. You divide it by 25 and you get this. So this is definitely the rarest book out of the set, and it's tied with the most sought after. The metal claws and the foil background are both tied for. Most sought after, they're the same price. Between 30, you could usually find this book for, this one between 30 and 50, the other one's about 25 to 30, so right there in the same price range, almost. Um, another thing I got, I got my shipment from Unknown Comic Books. This is uh, the Clayton Crane Venomverse books. These uh, aren't in Mylar yet, but it was, uh, they're like a connecting cover. I'm not really sure how they connect, which way they go. But uh, that's one and two. And it's a five part connecting series. There's three. Pretty neat little Clayton's rendition of Venom. Kind of reminds me of comic cards from like the 1990s. Yeah, so I got those five moving right along. I got Flash. This, I'm pretty sure I showed this before. Lenticular book. I've had that for a while, so I don't know how that got in here. Tick number one. Tick is a show that I used to watch. Not religiously, but <clears throat> I think late 90s, early 2000s, I used to watch some Tick. Oh, here's a Del Auto Defenders. Ah, excuse me. 
relatively easy book to come by. I don't have too many Della books, so. Uh, this is Brent Peoples, uh, Baby Teeth number one and two. These are both, I believe these are limited to 300. So not super rare. I think it's 300. I'll leave an annotation or something if it's not. But yeah, I thought they were cool. You got the baby with the crib and everything on fire in the background, and then you get the baby crawling through the blood. Issue number two. Really cool. Really cool covers. Uh, Francesco Mattina. Jean Grey. I think it's pretty sweet looking. Got that one. I got a... Uh... Mary Jane. So this book, this whole unknown comic books order just got to me because of the Clayton Crane books that I was waiting on. But this is back when the Mary Jane variants were out. I ordered that. I think it was July. Uh, Glitter Bomb number four. Got this one because I like the cover. Hack Slash number one. Hackslash has been blowing up a lot lately, so I went ahead and picked up number one from Image. And then I picked up another issue. So these are the only, only two issues I have with Hackslash. This is number 20. I just thought that was a really gruesome cover. Pretty gross. Oh. And then I'll show you these two. Natalie Sanders. Got the regular cover and the Virgin. Virgin. <clears throat> I think the regular is limited to 1500 if I'm not mistaken. And the Virgin is limited to 800. And from my understanding is this book is hard to come by in near mint condition because I heard a lot of this print run got damaged. So out of the 800, I think it was something like 300 of them or something like that um, sustained damage and they didn't print more books to correct it. They just said, you know, it's just gonna make the ones that are already out there more rare, so. Uh, more rare high grade anyways. Um, some more books I picked up out of some back issue bins for relatively cheap. Here's a Wonderland Art Germ. One of the few art germ covers that I have, but that's uh, Grim Fairy Tales Wonderland Age of Darkness. And I uh, found a J. Scott Campbell book. This one isn't too valuable. I think I paid like nine or 10 bucks for my first copy of Realm War, but uh, it's a cool connecting cover. Um, Velvet number one, I picked it up because it was an image number one. This is something that was in some back issue boxes. I just flipping through. Actually trying to look for some Vampirella books because I've been seeing you guys post some really cool Vampirella books. And um, I was trying to find some of those in the back issue bins and I had no luck, but that was uh, in the V's, so. Picked it up. Uh, Grim Fairy Tales 101. Another Art Jaren book. Getting a little bit of glare. Looks like from this stuff back here. Yeah, it's better. Ah, family trade number one. Picked one of those up. Image number one. Gotta get the image number one, guys. This is a. Uh, God Complex, Dogma number one. Let's uh, break this thing down. Next I got Amazing Spider-Man 129, it's a lenticular. When he recreates a little Deadpool, little Spider-Man, is it Deadpool? 
Yeah. These things give me a headache. Ooh, heart germ. Supergirl 14. That one came out last week, I think. I picked it up. Got the new Gotham City Garage. Picked up cover A and B. This is a book that was on my list of the top 10 books that I wanted to get this year. I have one book left on the list. Actually, I have two books left. But, uh, Warlock, Marvel Premiere number one. Finally got one of those. Oh. This is my collection of Paul Green stuff that I got this week. Uh, Van Helsing versus Dracula, number four. I think that's cover C. Yep. Number four out of five. Very cool Paul Green cover. Um, this is another Paul Green, uh, Grim Fairy Tales, Cinderella one shot. Another, this was limited to 500. Hell Child, number two of five. Pretty cool Paul Green book. Whew, part three of five, Grim Fairy Tales Apocalypse. And I think I have a couple more Paul Green books that aren't in this box, but these are just the ones that I got this week. This was uh, Grim Fairy Tales Day of the Dead number one. That one was limited to 250 copies. And then I got a Red Agent, The Human Order. This is a Jamie Tyndall book. Mm. This is a uh, Lola. Number two, Retailer Incentive. Joe Benitez did the cover art for that one. Pretty neat book. Um, we got a little bit of Scotty Young, Spider Gwen number one. We got a pretty decent amount of number ones that Scotty Young did. We got a small collection. Um, this is a Ebos cover, limited to 500. It's a Oz Reign of the Witch Queen, four or six. He does a couple more covers where he changes out the, uh, actually I think he takes away the football and he puts a marker in her hand and then he puts some X's and O's like a, a uh, football play. And it like covers her boobs. This is a cool book, Harley Quinn number seven. Just a cool bombshell, Harley Quinn. I've seen this uh, picture before, but I've never seen the comic book. I finally got a copy of it. This is a really awesome cover right here. This is uh, Haunted City number zero, San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Limited to 500. That is a sweet looking cover. Uh, here's another Lola, number one, cover F. This is limited to 500. It's a Wonder World, Wonder, WonderCon, WonderCon Anaheim exclusive from 2014. And the last one that I got is Michael Turner, Harley Quinn, number one. I get the color version. I opted to not get the sketch version. And I think there's another cover for this besides this one in the sketch version. I don't remember what it is, but that's the books that I got this week. Thanks for watching, guys. Good night.